Hello everyone, this is Curtis with Lee Wackle on Cure Hey, today I'm out working on a property that I started working on yesterday. And uh, I'm back today to try to finish it up. Uh, what happened, well I was mowing this property and uh, it was one of these, I don't know what kind of snake it was. It was a big old long snake. I was mowing and uh, let, me, let, let, let me just show you. you. You see that limb right there? That snake was long as this here. Little old limb right here. So I was mowing and a snake came out. It was in the back. So I uh I, I, man, let me tell y'all, I was scared. I'm back again to try to finish it up. But anyway, I, I called a customer and I said, hey, I'll be back tomorrow to finish this up. And that's what I'm, I'm back here to do today. But meanwhile, it's in the daytime. It was late in the evening and I ran across this big old snake. I mean, it was, oh boy. And, and, and let me see. Well, well, okay, okay, I'm gonna show y'all. It was right in this area, right in here. Snake came out. It's a big old snake. And I'm looking around, because I don't want to have to leave again. But, I managed to get that portion back there mowed. But right in here, there's this big old snake over there. Man, look at here. And I see they working on the air conditioning for her. But right over there, there was a big snake in there. So. looking y'all now I'm gonna finish this up I'm finna get my big more on it looked like it may be okay it, it may be okay I don't know you never know stuff like this and that's what happens a lot of people think that things are just okay and you get in there and you're working in gotcha Boy, look at here. Big old snake jumped out. I was like, man. I'm looking, y'all. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> Dealing with this. Uh-uh. Now, I done stepped on snakes and all that. But, like I say. Yeah, that was a chance. That, uh. I didn't get bit. I made it this far. What the heck is that? Oh. Hmm. I don't know. Nah, I ain't. I'm gonna put a more. I'm gonna have a more in front of me. I ain't stepping in none of this high grass. I mean, I ain't got my rubber boots, but I ain't stepping in no high grass. No. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put my rubber boots on. I mean, I'm not gonna take no chance. So I'm just giving y'all a view. I'm looking at it. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get it cut down a little bit lower. I can. Let's use one of these light. You know, people get, well, 
They get busy, you know how it is. They get busy, they don't have time to take care of no lawn. They gotta try to make some of that paper, you know. <laughs> gotta stay moving, that's what I'm doing. Staying moving. Yeah. Hmm. So. And this is back off in some woods somewhere. It's out, out from Houston. So it's a ways out. You hear the roosters and all that crowing. Anyway, guys, I'm just sharing this little bit with you. I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna see if I can get this all finished up and get back to the city. I ain't getting caught out in these woods at night. No. I'm just, I don't know, ever since seeing that big old long snake. Uh, let me get busy and get this taken care of. Stay tuned. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Hey, this property here, oh boy, it took some time. Um, let's take a look at it, okay. This is on the outside, I had to mow out there. So, that took some time. And on the inside, as you can see, it took some time in here. It took a lot, because, you know, it was overgrown. Tried to weed it all that down over there. And as you can see, this is the overall way the property looked after taking and mowing it. I had to go over it a number of times, as you can see, back here. It was, uh, well, what can I say, y'all? Uh, it was, uh, it was just overgrown. It just had a lot of uh, high grass, a lot of areas. And uh, this kind of stuff takes time. You know, even more and with a bigger more. And, oh, give you a look at the back. This here's the back of it back here. And I worked uh, over here. Like, like this is a burn pile that I guess they take and put some of the branches in there and they burn them later. And some of these over in here. And as you can see, you can see over there where I worked and uh, tried to... Uh, get all of that all cleaned up and and you see the sheds right here i worked over in this area here and try to get all the debris from in there luckily today i didn't run across any snakes or anything but you never know where they at it's getting nighttime now so i'm just giving y'all a view before i leave this here property so looking at it you know it's, it's still one of these properties that you know you got to stay on top of it when you're out here these are ones like you got to do some routine maintenance for this mowing on it uh, yeah they still have some stuff up on there but I'm just giving you a quick view of the overall property the way everything looks. Now I'm gonna get out of here. I don't spend a lot of time here trying to uh, get this here in shape. You know, it, it uh, ate up quite a bit of my time. I was planning to come and get this finished and I tend to some other properties, but I'm not. I'm, I'm going to take it on home here. Get ready for tomorrow. So, this one right here, it's like it still, you know, needs some work for us. You know, some of the bushes and hedges and all of that trimmed up and all. I mean, that's like a major cleanup. Now, they didn't tell me that when they told me the property, oh, it just wanted to get it mowed and all, but... I was like, wow. And sometimes, you know, when you come out, there'd be something totally different when you show up to a property because you never know what condition the property's in until you get there, you know. And just looking at it, you know, you can see 
Yeah, over on this here side here. You see, right in here. I took care of that portion right here. So, you know, and all out in here. So, you know, these kind of properties, well, they take a, they take a lot of time. I mean, you can work all day on them, in which I have worked, put a lot of time in on this one to uh, get it all cleaned up. Um, you know, running the trimmers, running the blowers, running the mowers. It takes time to get these things all in shape. Yeah, it takes some time. Now, this one is getting late, so I'm going to get out of here. I don't want to get caught out here in the, in the dark. No, I'm too far out. And uh, you never know. So I'm going to get home in a, well, it's still some daylight. Night probably catch me before I get home. Because I don't, I really, I don't like being up in the nighttime. But I get caught in a lot of times so when I'm out here mowing. I get caught in the night working on properties and it just oof it's not good but anyway y'all I just wanted to give you um, an after view of way things turn out after I put a lot of time in mowing I really didn't have a lot of time to do a lot of recording today because I've just been trying to catch up on a lot of work there during the week. Now I gotta, I got to uh, go home and put my uh, schedule together for the week. Got a number of properties that I need to take care of. So I do a lot of running. I mean, run. I mean, really running, y'all. Oh, do I do some running? And now it's getting. You know, I'm, I'm to the point. You know, I had a customer, well, it would have been a customer day, but I had to turn the guy down. I'm turning down lawns because I said, no, I can't take on anymore. And this happened every week. I get people coming to me um, wanting to uh, get lawn service. And I'm like, no, I'm not taking on anymore. You know, it's to the point I can't take on anymore. Um, you know, even I give up on trying to... Uh, as I say, have a helper and all. It's just, that's just too time consuming. You know, I mean, it's great to have a helper, but it's time consuming. And, you know, what I'm saying is, I just don't have time to go and pick nobody up. And, and you know, pick them up and take them back. I just don't have the time to do that anymore. I, I just don't. I mean, the time that I'm spending to go and pick somebody up, I can actually be working. I could be already in the yard taking care of it. You know, then when I get, then when they end, I'm tired, I'm ready to go home, I gotta take them home. I could be already at home. So, you know, it's, no. Just cannot afford that anymore. It would be great, but nah. And, you know, the season is almost over with. It's this September, so I got another month in October, and uh, I'll see how things go in October. So once it, you know things start cooling down, then the grass gonna go into a dormant state. It's not gonna be growing that much. And then it'll be time for uh, well, some want to get those leaves all up. But anyway, y'all, stay tuned. I'll be back. I'm finna take it on in now. Okay.